Now, we've talked about the Croatia versus Canada feud. Well, there's another one brewing. It's Jurgen Klinsmann against Carlos Karos. Klinsmann accused Karos and his Iranian team of basically naughty gamesmanship. Yeah, that's their culture. That's their way of doing it. And that's why Carlos Karos, he fits really well in the Iranian national team. And that's he struggled in uh, South America. He failed with Colombia to qualify. Then he failed with uh, Egypt to qualify as well. And then he went back right before the World Cup now and guided uh, Iran where he worked already for a long, long time. So so this is not uh, by coincidence. This is all purposely. <laughs> this is just part of their culture. That's how they play it. And they work the referee. They, you saw the, the bench always jumping off, always working the fourth uh, lines, the linesman and the fourth referee on the yeah. sideline. Constantly in, they're constantly in their ears. Um, they're constantly in your face on the field. I mean, uh, Kiefer Moore probably will tell you lots of stories after this game today. He had a, he had a lot of of, uh, little incidents uh, mm. that we did not even see out here. This, this is their culture, and they, they kind of make you lose your focus. They make you lose your concentration and what's really important to you. Ooh, shots fired? Well, Carlos Quiroz came back. He says, you took the initiative to call me Carlos, so I believe it's proper I call you Jurgen, right? Even not knowing me personally, you question my character with a typical prejudiced judgment of superiority. No matter how much I can respect what you did inside the pitch, those remarks about Iran culture, Iran national team, and my players are a disgrace to football. Boom. He continued, as an American slash German, we understand you're no support. No problem. And despite your outrageous remarks on BBC trying to undermine our efforts, sacrifices, and skills, we promise you that we will not produce any judgments regarding your culture, roots, and background, and that you will always be welcome to our family. Yeah, kind of slap him in the face and then kill him with an extra little bit of kindness at the end. I think Klinsman kind of stepped out of his bounds on this one. It's not good to basically call another team cheaters or in some way insinuate that they're gaming the system. So after Carlos Karras releases that statement on Twitter, Gary Lineker on the BBC asks Jurgen Klinsman, you know, to clarify his comments and if he wants to double down, which he basically does, but sort of tiptoes around it. This is like a Kanye-style apology right here. This is a Cristiano Ronaldo-level apology from Jurgen Klinsmann. In other words, it's not an apology. Game, and um, you've very much upset Carlos Kiros. What's your response? No, I mean, he took it completely wrong because what I described was the emotional impact that they have from the bench, the players jumping off, they always constantly talking to everyone on the sideline. And he took it the wrong way as he thought, you know, I criticized him, which was not the case at all. Uh, so no, it's no problem at all. It's already already okay. can, can you yeah. see though why the Iranians might have taken offense? Yeah, maybe they took it wrong people. because they see me kind of in the back of their eyes, they see me as the former United States coach. <laughs> so they feel a little bit maybe provoked, which was not a provocation at all. It was uh, just simply describing a little bit the emotional state on the bench. And uh, they're going to go into a nail-biter now with the United States. Uh, both teams, I mean, the U.S. has to win. Iran is okay with a tie. This will be a, a huge, huge game in this World Cup. So I'm not going to lie. My opinion on this, Jurgen was out of line. The BBC was out of line. But this is the way they've been this whole tournament. If you are starting to get the feeling like the BBC is really against the Arab world in some way, this is just another example. I mean, remember, they basically blacked out the opening ceremony of the tournament to lecture the people on political issues, whether it was LGBTQ things or whether it was the migrant workers. And yes, these are important topics to talk about, but to basically deny the Arab world, its opportunity to shine and to slander the people like this and the culture, bro, I don't know, man. I'm going to say it the only way I can. That's fucked up. 